there folks, welcome to the channel and welcome to Celebrate Sausage. I hope you're having a great day. Today's episode is all about the Canadian Smoky. This is such a great sausage. It's smoked, extremely juicy, and can be found a multitude of different ways, depending on where you're at and who you get it from. Today, I am extremely proud to introduce my favorite Canadian butcher and YouTube personality, Duncan Henry. You can find him over at his YouTube channel by the same name, Duncan Henry, and he's gonna tell us everything we need to know about Canadian Smokies, and I believe he's even gonna share his personal recipe. Take it away, Duncan. Hey there, guys. Welcome to the meat shop. This is gonna be the Smokey episode. I'm gonna give you the recipe, I'm gonna give you the steps, and I'm gonna explain what a Smokey is. So without any further ado, let's get started. All right, guys, I'm excited to be here on Celebrate Sausage Season 3 to share this with you, the Smokey. Uh, you guys might not know what a Smokey is. I didn't realize Smokies weren't uh, an international thing until I started doing this YouTube stuff. What the Smokey is, is it's a cured, it can be pork or beef product uh, that's smoked and fully cooked. And up here in Western Canada, it's probably the number one selling sausage, maybe second to pepperoni or snack sticks. It's kind of like the Canadian substitute for hot dog. It's put into a 29, 32 millimeter natural casing. So what I got here is I got three kilograms, uh, which is six and a half pounds of pork trim off some nice pigs we cut up last week. And the fat composition of this is about 15%. So in a smoky, you can have as little as 10 and up to 30 in some emulsified products. But the stuff I do in my store uh, is 15%. So it's pretty you know, nice and lean, but still got some juice to it. We're gonna run it through the grinder twice, once on a coarse plate, uh, and then again on a fine plate. Uh, so the fine finish is gonna be anywhere, like depending on what you got at home, your fine grind can be three to four and a half millimeters. So that's uh, one eighth to three sixteenths of an inch plate on your final grind. Coarse plate, you just want something big and easy for your grinder. So uh, let's do that step now. I just pulled this out of the freezer for this, so meat's nice and cold. We'll open her up. And so this is just pork trim. It's just a combination of squaring up cuts for making pork chops and cleaning up the shoulder for making roasts and stuff like that. All right, make sure our grinder head's on good and tight so it doesn't smear. First grind, here we go. There we go, it's nice and cold, so it goes through nice and easy on this coarse plate for the first grind. All right, so there's our first grind. Run through the grinder there. Nice look at the meat. Now let's finish it up, put it through on a fine grind. I do get asked a question sometimes, uh, why don't you add your seasonings to this now and then run it through your grinder so you get a better spice distribution? Uh, you can, it just, that protein extraction starts to cure once you have a binder and a cure if you've got a binder in your mix, which this recipe does, and it just gets sticky and hard to run through your grinder. Uh, we can still get nice, even spice distribution after we run it through the grinder here a second time on our fine plate, so that's kind of the route I go. All right, gonna start feeding the grinder here for our final grind on, I'm finishing on a 4.5 millimeter plate, which is 3 sixteenths. Look at that beautiful meat. Perfect. Look at that yummy pork. All right, time to get to seasoning. Um, and the seasonings on a smoky can change from butcher to butcher. It's not like this is required to make it a smoky. It's kind of like a smoked bratwurst or hot links down there. Uh, every, every butcher kind of does it a little different. Every restaurant, smokehouse does it a little different. But these are how we do our smokies up here at uh, my meat shop. But I got our spices pre-weighed, mixed up for three kilograms here. I'll let you have a look before we add them. Mm, there we go. We got that salt, garlic, marjoram, ready to go. Looks good. So we'll add that on, and this is kind of what makes up a smoky. Kind of garlic, salt, peppery. And you can do this with beef. We do it up here with wild game, venison, lots. Uh, we're also going to add water at 10%. That's going to help distribute the spices and kind of make up for what evaporates in the cooking process. So 10% in a three kilogram batch is gonna be 300 grams. All right, we'll add that in, about half of it, mix it around a little bit, start to get our protein extraction, and add the other half after. And when I'm mixing, guys, all I'm doing is just thoroughly tossing the meat around, trying to get uh, as much contact with the spices as we can until it becomes really sticky, is what we're shooting for. And I'll add the other half of the water now, since 
Kind of got those spices spread out a bit. Now we're set. Now it's just mix, mix, mix. All right, everybody. So I've been mixing for a little bit here, and uh, we got that nice protein extraction. A little better shot for you. Spread her out on the hand, and she sticks. So we got that good protein extraction for you. So our Smokies are now mixed up, ready to get stuffed. But the thing is with Smokies, this is an original Smoky. This is kind of the the plain Jane mild version of the Smoky that everybody likes. Your grandma will like this one. Uh, but there's so many different variations of Smokies up here. Uh, you can add all sorts of things to them. Today I'm going to split this off into three batches. So I'm going to make you the original Smoky. We're going to make a Cheddar Smoky. And then we're going to make a Bacon Swiss Smoky. So this is kind of the base recipe that you play with. And you can add and tweak things from there. You want a spicy one, you can put a bunch of extra cayenne and other different peppers in there. So I'm gonna split it off into thirds. American cheddar, I find it works best. It's pretty affordable and it doesn't explode when you bite into it. So we'll add that into one of these guys. Here's our Swiss and the bacon chunks are underneath there. 200 grams of bacon per kilogram and 130 grams of Swiss. Just give them a light toss so they're incorporated in there. And uh, by the way, we could have run these through the grinder on a coarse plate after it had been seasoned. That's what I do with my large grinder. But uh, these will make some nice visible cheese pockets. You can just cut them up by hand. Just make sure the chunks are small enough to fit through your stuffing horn. Incorporate it in there. Do the same with the bacon Swiss. All right, so everything's mixed. It's all ready to stuff. Now all you do is you grab a good handful. We'll start with the original. Pull your sausage stuffer over and make sure it's packed in there really well. Work out those air pockets. And I'll bring in to do some stuffing. All right. So it's all loaded in the sausage stuffer. I got those 29, 32 millimeter natural casings with just a bit of water on it. And we'll just feed it onto the horn here now, letting that water flush through the inside and flush away any salt that's there. I did stick these in the water just before the video started. So they were soaking for about, I don't know, half hour, 45 minutes before we got started. And you just feed it onto the horn. Okay, I'm sure we have lots on there now, so I just kind of pull it away from the horn, grab snug on the horn, and the casing breaks off. Now, uh, with this guy, I can just hang him back up to dry, drip dry for a bit, and I'm gonna put him in a heavy pack of salt and back in the refrigerator, and he'll be good to use again another time. All right, let's do our first little bit of original smoky. I let a little bit of sausage casing off the horn and I control the firmness by how hard I pinch at the horn there. First little bit comes out, I pinch it, and then it backs up on the horn, and then we're good to go. Checking every so often, that's got a little bit of give. It's not too firm, because if it's too firm, you're gonna have problems when you go to link. Still good. All right, there's the first little kilogram. Back it out, rip it off. And I'll reload and do the cheddar. All right, cheddar's in. Same again. Here we go. All right, there comes those first cheesy bits. See them popping out of that sausage casing. Looks good. Mm -hmm. All right, the bacon Swiss smoky. I'm gonna have a little bit of residual cheddar left in the horn here. And then we're gonna get into the Swiss. Oh yeah, okay, there's the end of it. Awesome, look at those. Some, some nice bits of Swiss cheese in there, cheddar in here. Now, uh, next step is to get them linked up, dry them off at room temperature for a little bit till they're nice and tacky, then we'll pop them in the smokehouse and hit them with some hickory and finish them off in there. All right, so we'll do these all the same. I'll just show you the original. I find the end, there's a little bit of uh, String a leftover, so I pinch that closed. A smoky is usually kind of about four to six inches, depending on where you're at, so do a little five inch link, spin it towards yourself three times. Go to the next one, pinch off about four to six inches. Down to the next one, four to six inches, and spin it towards yourself one, two, three times. We'll go all the way down doing that. And these guys look and smell awesome already. Now, if you guys wanted to, before you stuff them, I should have mentioned, you could have fried a little bit on a frying pan. It'd give you a pretty close idea, minus the hickory smoke, of what you're getting into, and you could turn the spices up or down from there. 
But we got them, I know I like these ones, pretty popular in the store. So we got them linked up there. I'm gonna hang them on some smoke sticks, let them dry for a little while till that glimmer is off of there. And then we'll pop them in the preheated smokehouse and hit them with some hickory. All right, I just got them on a rack here, room temperature. Let them sit till they're nice and tacky and dry and then we'll throw them in the smokehouse. Okay, so it's been about an hour and a half and our smokies are nice and dry to touch. So I've got the smokehouse preheated to 150 with some hickory chips in there and uh, it's time for us to put the smoke in smoky. All right guys, so I just spread them out in here so they're not touching. I got a meat probe here, I'll stick it in the middle of one of these sausages and we're gonna smoke to a fully cooked internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. Then I'm gonna take them out and ice bath them or I might just take them out and dive right into them because they're the best when they come right out of the smokehouse. So they've been drying for an hour and now we're gonna hit them with hickory smoke for an hour and a half to two hours and then close the dampers, bring the temperature up till that internal temperature hits 160. All right guys, the smokehouse alarm has gone off which means they've hit an internal temperature of 160 so it's time for the big reveal Yeah, a little bit of smoke growing out of there still. Look at those guys, look at that beautiful color change. Oh yeah, just what we're talking about. Picked up some of that mahogany tone from the hickory smoke. Big chunks of cheese having dripped out everywhere. And uh, this right now is when they're at their best, but what, uh, what I usually do for the store, or if you guys wanted to store these for another day, is I take them and I plunge them into an ice bath or a cold water rinse and then cool them down in the fridge overnight, package them up the next day. But I think you guys deserve a cross section of them while they're nice and juicy. Ooh, this is hot. I better grab some gloves. Okay, check it out. We got the bacon Swiss, smoky. Look how good that guy looks. That's the original smoky here, look at that color. Looks so good, looks so yummy. Let's give you guys a cross shot here. Oh yeah. Look at that, and there's still nice lots of juice in there for you. Still gonna be yummy with only 15% fat in there. That's a cross section. So one of the prerequisites to be on Celebrate Sausage was to sample them in front of you guys and let you know how they look. So I'm gonna do this guy right out of the smokehouse right onto a bun with a little mustard and ketchup or whatever you choose to put on yours and we'll uh, see how the ham, sorry I keep saying ham, bacon Swiss smoky is. Mmm, <laughs> so good. Look at that guy, lots of juice in there. I hope you're not watching this too close to lunchtime. Mm. But it's smoky, it's juicy, it's plump, coming right out of the smokehouse. A little salty from the bacon, but that cheese milds it out. Super delicious. I hope you guys make these. Thanks for watching this episode of Celebrate Sausage. Really appreciate it. Like and subscribe for some more sausage videos. One more time, but with some cheese. Oh yeah. Wow. All three of those sausages looked incredible. That recipe is going on the short list. I'm gonna put a link to Duncan's YouTube channel in the description box below. Head over there, show him some love by subscribing, and tell him Two Guys in a Cooler sent you. He's got an extraordinary library of sausage making recipes, tips and tricks that I know you're gonna love. And if you love Celebrate Sausage, he has a series called Mariansky March, where he also uploads a brand new sausage making recipe every day through the month of March. It's absolutely epic. You ought to check it out. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, you know where they go. And if you like this video, a thumbs up is always helpful. Be sure to stick around because tomorrow, same time, same place, we have got a brand new sausage making recipe. This one is off the charts. I don't want you to miss it. So if you're new here, take a moment, click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you don't miss a single episode. We'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.